When it comes to what's happening in Wayne County and the North Carolina area, look no further than Taylor House Publishing. If you have a story that needs to be told, please contact us via email at taylorhousepublishing at gmail.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the Operation Summer Jump, uh, which was an investigation that was initiated by the Lenore County Sheriff Department. Now, this investigation netted, I think they said, 53 total arrests. Now, 49 of the people were apprehended on various charges. Now, most of these charges deal with narcotics. Now, if you're from Goldsboro, you remember back in like the 90s or maybe even now, they had indictment season. And what indictment season was, was they would go uh, and, and and find a undercover cop or undercover buyer or, or, or a crackhead who wanted, you know, to make money or beat charges. And they would send this particular buyer to all the street to mid-level hustlers. And then they would get buys and, you know, get a couple of buys or, you know, maybe buy a uh, amount of substance that were over uh, 28 grams, which will make it trafficking. And then they would round up all of these people in about three or four months. It was like the indictment. You know, if, if you was around that time, you know, oh, oh they, the, the indictment's out, man. The indictment's out. And you never knew, you know, when they were going to come and get you or who they were going to come and get because they used people or they used undercover people who were known drug users. And in this way, they brought a lot of felony charges on a lot of people. Now, of course, you know, selling drugs is not to be desired. Um, drug use is not to be desired. So the thing with this, and, and I see the charges, I'm going to read the charges, but I'm also going to show you some of the pictures of the people. So you can kind of get my point when I say what I'm about to say. Um, a lot of the people that they are arresting, they are not like Pep, 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 um, Pablo Escobar's or Tony Montana's or Nino Brown's or, you know, uh, Frank Lucas's. They are just mid-level street users and sellers. Now, when I show you these pictures, you're going to say, well, he don't look like he's selling drugs. He looks like he's, he's strung out. He needs to be in a recovery program. And so um, when they do this, and, and somebody mentioned it in the com comments, it's a uh, delusion of grandeur by the police department. Yeah, we got all of these violent people who are distributing all of the, off the streets. No, you didn't because the people who you really need to go after, you're not going to go after them because some of them are your own law enforcement. Some of them are your own uh, you know, elite of society. Some of them are your doctors, your 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 court personnel, you know, your 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 jailers and, and, and things like that. So um I'm just gonna show you some of these pictures, man. Like I said, I I I I don't know any of these people, not personally, maybe you know and you can pro provide some uh, insight to the per particular individuals. But yeah man, this is the, and, and the charters, these are the charters. The charters are trafficking meth Trafficking, opium, possession of a firearm by felon, sale and deliver of methamphetamine. Just a sale, just one sale. Sale and deliver of heroin, sale and deliver of Schedule 2. Possession with intent to sell or deliver. Possession with intent to tell, sell or deliver uh, within a 1,000 feet of a school. Carrying a concealed weapon. Possession of a stolen gun. Possession with intent to sell. Conspiracy, conspiracy, possession of controlled substance on jail premises. Now, these charges range, people are from the age of 18 to 68. And if you see some of these people, you can know, you, you will know all that, that these are not major violent drug dealers who need to be off streets. These are, you know, people who are sick and probably need, you know, some recovery. And, um, and as somebody said in the comments, these people are going to be on, um, you know, these people are going to be right back on the streets before the paperwork dries. So what are you actually doing? 
Um, the sheriff made a statement that we want these people uh, to, you know, to uh, be out of our communities and it will not be tolerated. What do you think they're going to go when they get out of jail? They're going to come right back to the community. But just look at these pictures right here. Like, look at my uh, my man right here. Now, this, this dude, they, they don't have his name, but, you know, he reminds me of, if you ever seen uh, Sanford, not not Sanford the Sun, but Sanford, the show after Lamont left. What was the big dude named Cal? He looks like Big Cal. So I don't know now. He he might have, you know, he, he he he. I don't know what 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 his charges was, but it couldn't have been nothing, you know, regarding a lot of usage because usage normally means you know you are uh, losing weight. Now this brother right here, now he got the locks. Um, you know he he doesn't look too happy about being arrested. Um, once again, he doesn't look like a guy who's making a particular lot of money uh, on the streets. Now, my man right here, now he looks, you know, um, he got the locks and everything. He, he once again, he doesn't, he, he in, in my opinion, I may be wrong, he looks like a user. You see the, the, the droopy eye or, or you know, the, the, it looks like the, 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 the faces of meth thing. Now, I don't know, I'm just speculating by the, by these pictures. Now look at this young man right now. He's smiling like he's, you know, he he he's a he he's a uh, he he's a kid in the candy store. I don't want to say, but yeah, he's smiling like he is happy to go where he is going. I don't know what he into, but uh, definitely he's happy now. I think this is a young man. I don't know, young, you know, I, I think it's a young man, but he look, he definitely looks not too happy. Um, looks very disheveled. So once again, he doesn't look like a, a prominent, you know, underworld figure. Uh, now this is my man right here. Now he looked like, now he looked like somebody that you don't want to play with right there. Like he looked like he done been on the yard a few times. He not playing, he gonna go to the cell. Don't 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 bother them. Don't ask them for no canteen or nothing. But uh, you know, so he 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 may once again. But you never know. He may be, be maybe just just a user who got caught up in the sting. Now this right here, I don't know. This is looks like um you know your local school teacher or your local um you know bank clerk or something like this. This is not someone that you would expect. And that's another thing. You know that's that's a stereotypical thing. This is. This is not someone that you would expect to be caught up in a drug sting. Now, here you go, my guy right here. Um, once again, he looks he looks very hard. It looked like he might have been on the yard a couple of times too. Looked like I seen him on the yard back in '99. Uh, if he's that old now, now this young man right here, you know, he looks he he looks like I said he looks he looks clean cut. But once again, none of these none of these people look like they exude a big time drug dealer who's causing a lot of uh, harm in the community. Now, this guy right here, he actually looks like a, you know, look, looks like a little nerd, like he should be in uh, in NASA somewhere. But, uh, you know, he, he don't look too happy about his position. Now, she right there, now, I know a user when I see one. You know, this is a this is not a, a, a drug dealer. This is a user. Now, look at the eyes, all glassy. Um... You know, um, I, I would say meth, but that's just my speculation. Uh, this is a young lady. You know, she looks, you know, she looks sort of hard in herself. Uh, may have been a, a, a pretty much a weed smoker or something. Maybe that, she looks like she sell a little weed on the side or something like that. You know, do some hair, uh, you know, babysitting, all that good stuff right out the same house like Baby D. Baby D. Now, this man right here. Uh, Looks like uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, you know, if you remember the wrestler, but he does not look like a uh, big-time drug dealer that needs to be off the streets. Ah, oh, look at this. She has she has a lot to smile about, someone said. said someone said, this broke my heart. Ah, oh, she is just the epitome of the all-American uh, girl, so I can't imagine what she does unless they put an old picture of her and she's, you know, but once again, this this has to be, she doesn't look like a person who's bringing in ounces and pounds and pounds of weed in the community. You know, she probably got caught trying to buy some and, 
you know, those things like that. But this this is, I want you to know, she may be a hardened criminal. I don't know. So, so you know, I'm speculating here. Let's go on. Okay, this is this this is my man who looks like, you know, a, a few gentlemen that, I, that, that I've been locked up with, you know, old and just, you know, just can't really get it together. You know, I don't I don't know um what he's charged with, but he's uh he doesn't look like a harder criminal. This young man right here, once again, he got the tattoos on his neck. You know, he don't look like he, he playing too many games as well. I don't know what he into, you know. Um look like he, he may be a shooter. He looked like a shooter. Um but uh once again, he doesn't look like a like a man who's making a lot of money in the streets. Oh, this is okay. Well, now she she she's she's pissed a little bit, but once again, she doesn't look like a major drug. All these people are looking like users. All right, my opinion. Now, this guy right here, goodness gravy. They call him Have Cap. Uh, now he evidently he's known across the, the the nation, but he's evidently, you know, had lived a hard life. And actually, people don't know this guy is actually 23 years old. You know, that's how uh, he's 23 years old. And, you know, this is this is what, you know, drugs would do to you. But, you know, definitely not a look like a major drug or, or violent criminal. Um, this guy right here as well um, looks like he used to be a, a professor in uh, Lindenworth, England. Uh, but, you know, he fell up some hard times now. Once again, he looks like a user. He doesn't look like a drug dealer. Look at all these people. Now, he, you know, he made a smooth, cool cat right there. He's, you know, you know, looking pissed off too. But uh, he's uh, definitely doesn't look like, once again, he's making $100,000. Um, and this lady right here, I would venture to say that, she is a user, not a seller. So once again, they're arresting a lot of people who use. Now, this I do not know. I would venture to say that it is a woman, but you know, then these days it's I I don't I don't know. This is you know, they said uh y'all went back in time. This picture is definitely from the 70s, definitely. Like this is a picture from uh, I don't know, looks like one of those uh, Baywatch pictures or something like that. But uh, but as Prince, somebody said it's Prince, it looks like Princess Diana. Uh, and this guy right here looks like he's trying to hide from the camera. Definitely not a drug dealer. Uh, probably a drug user. Um, this gentleman right here also is a... Ex gym teacher that looks like you know he just once again can't get it together. All these people now this Jew now this look like a Pablo Lopez right here. Now he might be connected to the Mexican cartel. You know he he's clean cut. They caught him down bad. Now he might he might just be getting a couple of couple of bricks in uh, from Mexico. But uh, this guy right here look. He's, <laughs> Uh, and that's, and that's what he said, tight, somebody said, tighten up, uh, we won't brought up like that, G. And that's somebody probably in his family who realizes that, once again, he, he's not living the life that he's supposed to be. He don't even look, like, he don't even look like he's supposed to be there. You know, he don't even look like a life, like he know what he's doing out there. Um, and that's my guy right here. He looks, you know, he looks old enough to know better. This guy right here, he looks like a couple of cats I know. Even around here, they're still out there, you know, at the age of about 40. He looks at least 40, 45, and he's still getting trapped off. Uh, there you go right there. That is Farmer John or Dusty Rose from back in the days wrestling. He's, um, you know, once again, he looks like that. Now, he might he might be growing, growing that stuff, growing, you know, got a couple of meth labs here and there out in the country. But, you know, he looks like your regular peach farmer out there in Lake Grange, if you ask me. Uh, and this young lady, oh, oh, somebody said she snitched on all of y'all. And it's, her name is definitely is Cash Baby Candy. 
and they said she popped. I guess she said she popped bond the same day. Some of y'all girls can never. So evidently she's a, 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 a street mama out there. And, you know, it says, somebody says she's the one who snitched on everybody. Uh, and there's my guy right there. He's uh, a, a, a young roster. He's like a vegan. He said, you know, he definitely, um, you know, he's definitely uh, got the locks and the tats, but he looks like a vegan. He, do, he looks like he shouldn't be involved in the drug world, if you ask me. Uh, this guy, once again, looks like a hardened user. A hardened user. The next guy does. This lady looks like, you know, a, a, a part-time pharmacy tech that, you know, just go and get her some 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 meth or, or whatever on the side. This guy right here doesn't look like a dealer. looks like a user. This guy right here definitely looks like a user. He, he's, you know, very disheveled looking. This guy, he might be a, he might be a user and a seller, you know, maybe you know sell some sell some, some some hair and but also takes a couple of snips of blow here and there. And I'm just speculating from my years of experience. Oh, this is so see all smiles for now. She's you know she's a another all American girl uh, who you know doesn't look like she's somewhere robbing and stealing, killing and dealing. Uh, but maybe just using. Uh, here's another young surfer-looking guy. He's uh, not too happy. No. Boston George and Blow. That's who that is. That's a young Boston George. That's Kinston George right there. Kinston George. And here we go. It's look, now that's Nino Brown. He look like Nino Brown, little cousin. Reno Brown. Reno Brown, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now he, got, he, like, he got on the old Sergio Tacchini sweatsuit, so he might have been in the game for years. And uh, you know, still still kept his clothes clean. <laughs> like a couple of couple of cats I know always keep their clothes clean. They they still wearing shoes from two thousand. But uh yeah, he he definitely looks like he he may have been making a couple of dollars out there. This guy right here is definitely droopy. He, he's so droopy. Look at him, he's just so droopy. Um that, you know, he probably just a weed smoker or opium user, but he doesn't look like a violent, violent criminal. Um, and this lady um, actually looks like probably a Broadway dancer uh, who, you know, just fell on hard times and you know probably got caught using a you know couple of couple of things to pick me up after a late night show. Uh, this young lady right here, uh, she looked like she can fight. That's all I'm gonna say. Any girl with the two with the two fish, uh, what they call them, the fish tails. Uh, she looked like you just don't want to run up on. I don't know what she was doing, but uh, she she definitely looked like somebody you not trying to see um, if you owe her some money. Now this guy right here, he couldn't even dag on uh, stay awake, um, and that's you know that's once again they said they they're literally arresting uh, drug addicts and calling it a a sweep of drugs. They, they, they should be ashamed of themselves. Look at this man right here. Gotta be at least 23 years old. And he's, you know, arrested for, for some crime. That's my man right there. He got on the, he got the Gumby. He got the Gumby haircut. And he looks not too happy about being in there. Um, don't know what he was selling, but probably was using something. Look at my guy right there. I don't know his name, but uh, he looks pretty cool. You know, he got the he got the starter dread, so he's uh, the starter lock. So he he's coming right along. Um, hopefully, you know whatever he was into doesn't require too much time. And this is my man right there. Goodness gracious, he got the Willie way back with the with the dread. Like, I don't, and what is that stuff on his forehead, man? All of that ash and. Goodness gracious, he got the willy way back. He said, look, man, just start my joint by my ear. Start my hairline by my earline. That's what it looked like. He told his uh told his barber. So you got him. Uh you got oh, okay, okay. He got on a little is that a little silver? Is that a little platinum chain around his neck? 
You know, he say, you know, diamonds on my neck. What Big say, that's the young Big. That's the, you know, that's the white Christopher Wallace right there, man. He, he's out there, you know, um, down in Maryland. He brought the Carolyn to Maryland. I don't, know. I don't know what this guy got going on right here. He got half braid, half, uh, what, what's that dude named the Dream? He got the one wide eye, then he got the droopy eyes. He in the Illuminati or what? Um, you know, we got, we, this guy right here, maybe he got, you know, he got caught up in mid braid session. You know, I don't know, but uh, he definitely, um, now he might once again he might be getting them things from the from Lulu from the Dominican like um Ace Boogie and paid in full but um yeah he def they definitely caught him down bad I don't know what he got going on uh, this guy right here what's that dude now? he like Carrot Top the comedian look like Carrot Top out there but he definitely um you know doesn't look like a major down he might be growing some uh some marijuana in his lab though. He might be going some marijuana in his lab. This guy right here, they look like he, they got a picture here from his time in the early 90s too. He got him the tank top. Uh, he got the black and white picture. So um, we don't know what he's got going on. And this young man right now, he like a smooth, you know, he like a smooth, but you know, he don't look like he making a lot of money. He might be, but you know, he might not be. And um, so that is all of the, the pictures of, of the 53 people who, who got arrested. But as you can see from those pictures, you know, many of those people don't look like they are major drug dealers. As you saw from a lot of the pictures, uh, they either look like users or, you know, mid-level dealers. So um, the thing about these sweeps, as they call them, is just pretty much a posturing or a a delusion of grandeur or grandstanding by the sheriff department uh, because these people are going to be right on the street. Now, either one person said, my son is in the group that got arrested. Yes, he absolutely needs to be in jail. Selling, using, or anything is a choice. He will be made right and wrong. Don't change. And that is true. Like not, not justifying or, you know, excusing, any of these people, but you know, drug use is a sickness. So arresting these people, and as you see, most of these people look like users, are not going to, is not going to um, stop the useful drugs in, uh, in the community. And, and so, um, so I don't know, and, and, and y'all know these things um, happen all around uh but as with this one person said okay so you busted some that's been known users for years post about the deputy that was a school resource officer getting caught by a student having sex with a council on school grounds now what is more disturbing uh is not that equally um disturbing um so definitely i, I actually have to uh reply to that person So, so yeah, so this is, this is what we have, man. What is more disturbing? You know, some, some people who are, you know, buying drugs on a regular basis, which is once again, it's not, I'm not condoning or, you know, someone being involved in something like that, uh, in the school, so, um, yeah, this, this, I saw this, and I just looked through the pictures, and I was like, I just got to show, like, they, these operations are, are, is an operation in futility, because these people are going to be right up on the street, as you've seen the one lady say that she made bail the same day, what bail do they give them, you know, but this is just a, a ta tactic to make constituents feel like they are tough on crime. So, uh, what do you guys think? My name is 919-587-7782. i leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know uh, what y'all think about this subject. Peace and blessings. 919-587-7782.
Peace.